cash. Hey guys, hope you're doing good. So before I actually get into the topic of this video, I'd like to ask you for one thing, okay? If you end up liking what I'm going to be sharing within this video, please leave a like, comment, and subscribe to my channel. I wanna impact more people and the only way for more people to learn about me is if more people engage with my content and actually like it so the algorithm can actually push it to more people. But today's video is about recently, okay? <laughs> Recently, we've seen a huge growth within client acquisition at IO, okay? We normally are doing around 100K a month and sometimes collecting 70K, 80K, 50K. But in the last two weeks, we've generated over $180,000. 15 days, 185 grand, okay? Now, this growth, it made me think a bit differently. My goal is to try to in this video to try to share with you what are some of the lessons, not necessarily the tactics, not necessarily the systems, not necessarily the strategies that we've used to actually be able to generate this amount of revenue, but to actually talk about you and who you actually need to become to be able to earn this amount of money. I've had a lot of customers till this day and I've seen people in different industries, people who are even in the same space as me, who see what I'm doing, and I'll tell them what to do, but they still won't see the same results that maybe I'm seeing or people ahead of me are seeing. Because for me, what I've realized is that business is a simple set of steps that have already been implemented by someone else. There is nothing new that you haven't figured it out. But the issue is that you have not yet became the person who actually makes it unreasonable for you not to achieve the success that you're looking for. Today, I'd like to talk about a few things. I'd like to talk about your goals. I'd like to talk about this never ending process. I'd like to talk about the fact that you should stop listening to yourself. I'll end it with, I believe you deserve it. Why do I wanna start with your goals? The first thing is that most people never achieve success because of one single thing. It's because they don't have any goals. If you look at this remarkable thing, right? If you were to open it and look at one of the docs that's called goals, I literally write my goals down every single day. Is it because I don't know what my goals are? No, but it's because I wanna make sure that they're so ingrained deep within my subconscious that even when I'm not necessarily consciously seeking how to achieve my goal, I end up figuring out how to actually achieve them regardless because like my whole being is actually looking for ways to solve my problems, solve all the obstacles that would keep me from not achieving my goal. The mistake that I see with most people is one, either they don't have any goals, two, their goals aren't big enough. Let's start with people who don't have any goals. Most people don't have any goals because they've never been taught of it in school. If I was to change one single thing about school, I'd get people to start talking about the importance of setting goals. I personally think that if you come to me and you're like, hey Serge, what is the number one thing that I need to solve? I'd be like, hey, what are your goals? If you don't have any goals, you don't even have to become a customer. Fix that first and then come see us. Then the second thing is about goal setting is that most people set goals because of their environments. So if you keep consuming content from a guru that's telling you that 10K a month is good, then when you go about building your business, you're gonna think that 10K a month should be your first goal. And I've had so many customers tell me like, hey Serge, I know you preach to get us to 50K a month, 100K a month, and eventually we'll get there, but I wanna get to that first mark of 10K a month before I try to aim higher. <laughs> I don't wanna necessarily negate or go against them, but that is the biggest mistake that you can make because if you set a goal of making 10K per month and I tell you that you need to build a growth team, that you need to post three pieces of content every week, that you need to make sure you write your goals down every day, that you need to uh, start leading, that you need to start investing within team members, the level of pain that you have to go through exceeds the compensation or the reward that you get from making 10K per month. Therefore, you won't be taking any action. What if I said, hey, Instead of aiming for 10K per month, why don't you aim for 500K a month? Why don't you aim for half a million dollars every single month? Well, if I tell you that all you really need to do is a good offer, maybe something that costs five to 10 grand, you need to put out three pieces of content and you need a growth team and you need a really good onboarding process, which we will give you, right? So you can onboard people at scale. Those four things, that's all you need. Would you be upset or would you be lazy in implementing? If you know that if you do implement the exact set of steps that you'll get to half a mil, no, you'll be like, oh my God, Serge, let's, let's start today. But most people make the mistake of setting their goals so low, so they never even have the courage to implement and do the hard stuff. 
For me, in my opinion, the reason why in the last three months, we've literally gone from averaging from 50 to 70K to hitting our first 140K per month. And right now in the last 10 days, we've collected over 140K, not revenue, collected $140,000. You know, I'm saying this, but like for me, I've kind of like normalized this kind of revenue. So it's not really a big deal for me. I still have to make a video about it because it's pretty fucking huge deal. Because <laughs> just two years ago, I was just making 30 grand a year. I looked at my T4 and I, in 2020, from my job, I made $23,000 for the whole year. And now today we just made 140K. Not made, I mean, we've made over 180 grand, but we've collected 140K and more. How can you watch this video and you just hear me say that? In just two years, I've gone from making 23 grand a year to collecting 140 grand in 10 days. I didn't get anyone on a meeting. I did not sell anyone on my program. I did not onboard anyone in my program. All I did is created an amazing service and I get to meet my customers once they've paid. Now, how can you watch this and just settle for your 10K month goal? I don't care if you're from India. I don't care if you're from Rwanda. I don't care if you're watching this from somewhere where there are no homes, where you don't have any internet, where you don't have any phone. Stop settling for baby goals. I know your environment might push you to like, hey, I made 20K this month. I'm pretty happy. No, 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 no. Go for a million a month. Okay. At least that's what I'm going for. Anyway, that's it. So it's like, if I can do it, you can do it. And the secret is my goals have always been higher than most people. And that's why when I'm taking action, I'm building foundations, infrastructures to make it unreasonable for me not to get to this gigantic goal. And maybe I don't achieve it, but I end up, you know, making 140K. That's life, okay? But anyway, that's good. The second thing, the lesson that I've understood is that this is a never ending process, okay? Just because I'm setting my goals to, let's say, get to a quarter million per month or half a million per month or a million per month, it does not mean that once we get there that we will have arrived, no. And let me share this quote from the book, Built to Last. It's a great book. If you haven't read the book, I personally have not read it, but I've listened to a podcast around the author and then he described essentially what he wrote in the book. But there's this quote that says that, it's from a CEO, I forgot his name, but he said that we're proud of our success and we celebrate them, but the real excitement comes in figuring out how we can do even better in the future. It's a never ending process of seeing how far we can go. There is no ultimate finish line where we can say that we have arrived. I never want us to be satisfied with our success because that's when we will begin to die. This quote is really important and you need to acknowledge it because once you've stepped your foot in the game of business, you need to realize that it's not because you hit this revenue mark that you're somewhat a god. No, you're nothing. The goal is consistently, consistently keep evolving yourself into someone who's better, into evolving your team, equipping them with better tools, with better understanding, with better thinking, but you always gotta be evolving. It's not about money. It's not, it's not about revenue. I don't really know how to explain this, but like, I know I have to mention amounts of money so that you can pay attention to me, but the goal about success or about business success is not actually about money. It's about the confidence you gain from the success you achieve in business. So for me, I don't get most of the pleasure from just seeing more money stuck in my bank account. I get more pleasure from the confidence and the belief that I get in myself. Because every time I hit a milestone, I'm like, oh my God, man, you're a fucking beast. And then I set a bigger goal for myself and I'm like, Jesus Christ. Even if I lost all the money that I've made in the last year, I still have the belief in myself that I can do it again. And that's what I want you to seek. I want you to seek confidence. I want you to seek a belief in your own abilities. That's the goal. Because what's the point of you being on your deathbed and never, have been, never having seen your potential, never having been able to see what you're capable of building? And that's why I hate this online space. Because this online space is meant to sell us on, oh, get rich quick. Like, it's going to be so easy. But it's like, no, if you ever jump in our program, my program is not to get you to make money. I want you to go so big that like you actually end up impressing yourself because I want to see you. I want to meet you and I want to see the confident you. I want to see the you that actually inspires others to believe in themselves. That's what this game is about, man. Forget the money. It's bullshit. You know, that's the second thing. Increase your confidence in yourself. The third lesson, which is something that I've preached to my customers is stop listening to yourself. There is no way I personally or the me from a year ago would have made this kind of money if I would have listened to my own advice. Let me explain. 
the me last year was trying to have 80% profit margins. I was afraid to give percentages to my team members. I was afraid to even hire people. I was afraid to post content. I was like, oh, it's, it's a waste of time. So the reason why I'm saying don't listen to yourself is because if you keep listening to yourself, you're going to keep reproducing the same life that you have right now. Your current situation has been produced by your own thinking. If you want different circumstances, you got to think differently. So what I've personally done to get to a point where we're now at a multiple seven figure run rate, the way that I got to this run rate wasn't from listening to the me that was making 50K per month. I simply looked at what people who are making 5 million a year were doing and I just implemented. Whether I was afraid to give away percentages, I just gave that fucking shit away. Whether I was afraid to scale the team, I scaled the team. I just did stuff that was uncomfortable. Posting this content, I don't have to post any content, but I still do it because I, I wanna get you engaged. I wanna get you to see the real me. I wanna get you to trust me but the 50k a month me would have been like you know why do i need to make any content it's not needed right i could just send a message book a meeting close a deal but if you want to start making millions it's not about your one-on-one -on -one outreach type of strategy you actually need to convince people convert people at scale like jesus did jesus wasn't out there on facebook messenger hey uh you should read the bible no he was an amazing marketer. He was preaching to the crowd. He understood leverage. He got 12 disciples. I'm trying to get 12 members of the growth team. If you are, by the way, if you want to join our growth team, you should probably find a link below and apply. But like what I'm trying to say is that don't listen to yourself. Don't listen to yourself, please. Okay, that's it. You don't have the best advice. If you did, you would already have the life you want. Up till now, you're broke. And for me personally, anyone who's broke is anyone who's not making 100 grand profit every month. So whatever. I'm broke personally, okay? So the fourth thing is you deserve it. It's that simple. You don't need to have any reason why you need to make money. You don't need any reason to, to push, to go for more. Just simply know that you deserve it. Not only do you deserve it, but you should believe that you can do more and that you deserve to have more. I always send this message to customers when they sign up. I always tell them like, hey, I'm not here to just thank you for joining our program, but I actually wanna thank you for believing that you deserve more. Because that's the number one common trend I've seen to people who sign up in our program. Our program is not the typical $1,000, $5,000 program. It's a lot of money. And anyone who makes sense of paying us, I think that the number one reason why they bought is not because we're so good at selling. It's not because I'm so good at content. It's not because I'm so good at building an amazing service. It's because they themselves told themselves that, you know what, I'm not content with what I'm at. I believe I can go for more. And we're just the vehicle that takes them from where they're currently at to where they need to be. Most people will use the quote like, hey, YOLO, like you only live once to make dumb decisions. But I personally want to ask you to use that in reverse. You know that you're going to die. So why are you settling for baby achievements? Go for more and let's go. Let's go. Let's inspire people. You know, it's not about you. It's not about just helping your family. It's good. But like, I promise you won't even help your family if you're settling for baby targets because you're one single update away from going back to zero if you settle for 20k 50k a month and let's say you're relying on tiktok or you're relying on facebook ad email outreach you're one single update away to losing all your customers so my thing is go bigger half a mil a million a month and i know not everybody's going to be able to achieve it but i promise you if you set a goal to make a hundred grand half a mil a million a month you will at least achieve 20 percent of it it's worth it okay but let me just go over again the four things. Stop setting small goals, actually go bigger, bigger than you've ever even thought was possible. It's a never ending process. You will never actually arrive to a place where you feel like you've achieved it. So be aware of that. And even if you do feel like you've achieved it, that's when you start to die. So please don't settle. And then third thing is don't listen to yourself. You are not the person who gets you to that next level. If you were, you would already have gotten to that level. Last thing is you deserve it. It's all you. So. Thank you guys for watching this video. Like I said at the beginning of this video, please like, leave a comment and subscribe. If you want a free program around how to scale to 50K a month profit every month, then find the link below, join our Facebook group. We have a free program for you. Bye-bye.